Hi, everybody, and welcome to our Meditation Monday. Welcome to today's meditation. So I'm doing a little bit of a mindful walk this morning. In South Florida, we're, we're kind of headquartered, and the majority of our things are, are recorded. It is a gorgeous day. I'm recording this at the end of November, and it's just beautiful outside. So if you hear some of the ambient noises, like there's a helicopter overhead or some of the trees blowing in the wind, and some squirrels running around. It's just some outdoor noise for you guys. A little bit of welcome from South Florida. So there's a lot of different types of meditations that we've done at Mindful Me. We've done visualizations and we've done mantras and we've done guided meditations and all of those are so perfect. We've started to dabble on the silent meditation. It's where you're basically silent and there's no ambient music that's going on and nobody kind of guiding you through. A lot of people, when they say, oh gosh, I'm just not good at meditation, it's the silent ones that they're pretty much referring to. And the reason is, is because our brain wanders. And we think that when our brain wanders, that's a bad thing. It's not a bad thing. We just gotta notice it and kind of bring your mind's focus back to where you were before. See, the brain is a muscle. Just like I'm doing now on this great mindful walk that I'm doing with you guys this morning, your brain needs some exercise and it needs some downtime as well. If I'm at the gym and I'm doing sets of, you know, curls or whatnot, we always take a little bit of a break in between each set and then you do the next set. Your brain's constantly working. Even at night, it's got to run your body and your subconscious and everything that goes with it. So a silent meditation actually gives your brain that break it needs to just rest. So there's a couple ways that we can go about this. In Mindful Me, before we've done the candle meditation, where we're silent and we're noticing a candle, the flicker of the light on the candle. And every time your mind wanders, we bring our brain back to the candle and we stare at it. We've usually done this in combination with a mantra. There's also ones where if you're even laying down or sitting up, and again, we've talked about this, there's really no right or wrong way, as long as your back is straight. You can imagine, some people call it a tennis ball if you want, or whatever type of object that you want to see that goes from your head down to like your sacred muscle, your chakra, your, the root of your butt, and it goes back and forth. For me, I like to imagine that it's a light a green light for me, that goes from the top to the bottom and back and forth. And as the silence is going, I'm following the light going up and down and up and down. Green is Reiki energy, so it brings that nice healing energy to, to your body as it moves. Or you can count, count your breaths in, out. One, two, three, four. Start over at 10. The reason why we start over at 10 is because sometimes when you're counting, if you keep going and going and going, it's a, it's a nice little cue that your brain can wander because you're counting so much to get into a rhythm. If you start over at 10 or at five or at six, it keeps you very focused into the moment, which is really what we want. We want your brain to be focused into the moment, not worrying about what happened in the past or focusing on the future. What's happening right now, right now with your brain? What's happening right now with you? And that silence, that just pure silence to be in the moment. So let's try this together. We're just going to do a short one, a five minute one. We're going to have silence and whatever thing you want to choose, whether it's the, the light, the tennis ball, the candle, the counting, whatever feels most comfortable to you, or if you want to create something of your own perfectly fine and perfectly natural. So let's get into our position again, whether you are laying down or whether you're sitting up on the floor, on a chair, cross-legged, however you feel comfortable. And let's just start breathing in and out through your nose. And let's close your eyes or have soft focus, whatever feels more comfortable. Take a nice deep breath in through your nose. Let your stomach expand and hold it. And exhale through your mouth, letting your stomach flatten. And just breathe. 
Let's take another nice deep breath in through your nose. Let your stomach expand and hold it. And exhale through your mouth, letting your stomach flatten. And as we continue to focus and we continue to breathe, start your journey of silence is golden.
as you continue to breathe in and out through your nose, with each breath being even more relaxed. Maybe you can hear some of the birds that are chirping in the background on my continued mindful walk. Let's take a nice deep breath in through our nose and let your stomach expand and hold it. And exit through your mouth, letting your stomach flatten. And as you just relax, continue to breathe in and out through your nose. Give yourself that pat on the back because this was a great meditation. And even if you felt like it was troubled or you felt like you were constantly bringing your mind back to the present, that's perfectly awesome, wonderful, natural, and fantastic. We'll do more silent meditations as we continue to grow with Mindful Me. It really is such a perfect way to heal your brain, to empty your glass, to give your brain the break it needs so that it, like the rest of our muscles, can perform at perfect levels. So as you continue to breathe in and out through your nose, start to wiggle your fingers and your toes. With each breath, you become more and more focused, more and more aware, more and more grounded. And when you are ready, open your eyes. Welcome back for a perfect day ahead. And if this is something that you were doing before bed for an incredible night's sleep. Hope you have a great week. See you next week and welcome back. <laughs>